Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Now, the channel used to be named Eddie Jarrell Jones with an X on the end. For those out there that are still wondering, why did you change your name on YouTube? Why couldn't you keep your name as Eddie? I liked Eddie. Eddie made you this, Eddie made you that. I need you to put that type of effort and thinking into your life, into the shit that you're going through and the problems that you have, okay? Go clean the bathroom, go drink a glass of water, go do your edges. Pick something in your life. Find you some business girl, or boy, or them, or that. Don't go crazy, bitch. Welcome back to my channel, Milan Garcon, with an X on the end. Now, if you keep watching this video, I'm going to catch you up on all of the updates and changes in my life. Y'all know I'm a bitch that likes to evolve, so let's get into it. One thing that's not changing about this channel is I'm a vlogger, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm going to try to do as many videos as y'all want of like makeup looks and different hair stuff. But I'm a bitch that just likes to keep it real, okay? But a part of today's video is not sponsored. But I really like this product. So I'm cleaning some makeup brushes today. I actually have a lot to clean. When I was shooting for Legendary Season 2 on HBO Max, I really needed a product that could clean my brushes easily and quickly because I didn't have a lot of time. Like, I was either tired at night when I wanted to clean my brushes. So I wanted to clean them every night in between each makeup look that I did because I didn't want any bacteria or anything to be on my brushes and like cause me to break out and stuff because that's just not the tea why you're trying to be on TV. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's Felix. So if you just type in F-E-L-I-X makeup brush cleaner, this bottle is like 16 bucks. You do not need to use that much on your brushes. So I use this little tin can thing. So let's talk about me now. <laughs> I'm drinking coffee. I'm gonna be eating a core muffin. Two favorite things to do in the morning. Get used to it. Next, I don't think I really used this. It doesn't matter, I'm cleaning everything. Oh. I just dipped the brush in the coffee. At least I didn't already have solution on it because I'm drinking my coffee. So since the last time I was really active and consistent on my channel, it's no shade I'm gonna be real with y'all, is when I first, 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 first moved to New York. I think that was like season two or season three of the vlog. Super exciting. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, like we're moving to New York. And I was like, yeah, like y'all, like let's have a good time in the city. Come follow my life and do all of that. Like, Grow up with me, basically. Become a young adult with me. Let's learn how to like live on our own in this big city together. Gag. The city took me, bitch. I did not have time for editing, working, my bill paying job, and my career. Like my multimedia journalism, emceeing events, and modeling. I, 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 I couldn't. And then I decided, <laughs> well girl, go ahead, get involved in ballroom. I moved here March 2018, May. I was walking my first mini ball. So in my life at that time, I had my hands full. So yeah, right now it's 2021. I have spent my time in New York City figuring out how to maneuver in this city. And I have figured it out for myself. I have figured it out so much that I have accomplished goals that I set for myself. Did not know that I was going to reach this fast. Um, well, I won't say fast, but reach in this time. And now I am ready, set to go all over again. I'm, I'm, I'm like revamped and I'll tell you why. So when I stopped vlogging in 2018 and kind of went dormant, I was dealing with a lot. I was really exploring my identity because it's no shade. Once you join a ballroom scene and you're in a place where you can really just be yourself and express who you are, show up to places and venues and events and balls as your true authentic self or the person that you fantasize about being, it's another kind of joy. You know what I'm saying? It's another kind of um, realization of who you are and who you can be and who you want to be. And I'll be very candid. Like when I first joined the ballroom scene, a lot of people thought that I was transitioning that I was just a young girl in my transition because I don't really have any masculine characteristics and then girl I put on a lash and a wig and, it, and it's a whole different tea so I mean all the way back in college in like 2012 13 14 15 I would wear hair and makeup inside the house and around friends um, especially in college, I did it a lot with my friends Bianca and Simone. They literally used to, they were the ones that started getting me up in drag, no shade. I hadn't really gone further in exploring my, my outward presentation and what that meant uh, with 
the standards of gender and what you're supposed to do inside of these binaries that the world has created. Like, I let the binaries, gender-wise, hold me back and make me afraid to be who I knew I was, which was just this cunt-ass bitch. Like, what's up? But I was afraid to be that person. I was afraid to do what came natural to me because of what other people would think. I let that kind of stunt my growth, in a sense. I'm not binary. Just recently, I actually was talking to my gay grandmother, and I was like talking to her. I was actually interviewing her. We're gonna keep it real. I was interviewing her for my podcast, and like they're not binary as well. We were talking about like presentation and like getting in drags for the first time and just like all of that fun stuff. They said femme of center, and I was like, oh my god, grands, that rip up. I can't drink that because this just went in there. Damn, I gotta get a new coffee. Cause I, this shit is strong, so it's not giving that. Although I put it on my face after I do my makeup, I should be able to drink it. I don't think I'm gonna try that though. So I'm femme of center, meaning since I was little, you could find little baby pictures of me like this. I used to make high heel shoes around the house. Like you asked my mom, I really used to cut up the plastic folders, tape up batteries together to make a block heel, tape it all together, and it'd be a cute little heel. And I used to school around the house and I used to play dress up, all of that always been the girl okay really realizing that and growing up and just falling into it and playing into it like when you start growing up you realize oh girl i'm getting tall i'm getting tall you don't keep wearing pants that are too short you play into your features you buy pants that fit you feel me like it's just that easy um but i was stunting that growth because of what society was saying i was supposed to be supposed to do like wear talk like i'm beyond that now and my ballroom name is Milan Garcon. I decided to change my name on social media platforms because it's gonna make me happier. It's going to make all of my accounts match so it's easy to find me, Google me bitch. I know I have a lot of work to do, making sure that all of my work done as Eddie Jarrell Jones X still gets recognized because it's just another name to search now. But it's just like any, any drag performer, you know? Drag is an art. It's not an identity. So one thing I want to let y'all know from the beginning of this channel, which started in 2015, oh my God, I've been on YouTube six years now, ain't a thing changed. But y'all have seen me go through a lot of stuff. Y'all see me be in an amazing relationship. Y'all saw that relationship deteriorate. Y'all saw me in college. Y'all saw me graduate from college. Y'all saw me working at Fox 29. Y'all saw me move back home for like two minutes. Y'all saw me move out to New York. Y'all saw me just travel around the city doing my best. And then y'all saw me maybe walking a ball or two. And now like I'm more, I won't say I'm a fully realized being because I feel like it takes a while to become fully realized. Like I'm still, I'm still practicing patience, bitch. I am like right on that brink of really kind of figuring stuff out for yourself and what that means. I feel like I'm further ahead in my career journey than I am in my personal journey and I would like them to be even, but I focus so much on my career that I kind of put my own issues, problems, and like life to the background, which I'm working on. So hopefully the channel kind of helps me do that because it makes me stop and breathe and do things like this like talk my shit out um and not just be so oh my god what's this email oh my god what's that email oh my god i need to be here oh my god i need to be there like um yeah but also y'all i'm a signed model i was on legendary season two which is going to be premiering on hbo max on may 6th so make sure y'all tune in set your reminders also follow me on instagram it's the same as my youtube so if you would like to consume the content that i put out like comment subscribe i am your milan garçon